Hey everybody, before we jump into this video, I just want to show you a cool feature on our sponsor, Baiyi.com. Now, Baiyi is the website I use when I'm making purchases from Japan. And if you're new to the site, you may think that the only places you can shop from are the ones up here in the toolbar. But if you click on Add to Baiyi, you'll see that there are a lot more vendors you can shop. Look at all these Japanese stores ranging from toys to games to clothes. You can add this little guy to your browser, I'm using Firefox here. And then when you shop one of these stores, in this case I'm on Mandarake, see a little confirmation pops up reminding me that I can shop this website via Baiyi. Say I'm on Mandarake and I want to buy this guy. I click on my little Baiyi extension icon, and there's my opportunity to add it to the Baiyi cart. And once I return to Baiyi.com, I can click on the cart and confirm that the little guy is there. All right, delete this, I don't want this guy. And that's just one of many cool ways you can use Baiyi to shop Japan. And remember, Monster Island Buddies viewers get about $20 of free spending money when they sign up for a Baiyi.com account. Just click the link in the description. All right, enjoy this playtime. Playtime! Yay! In May of 1998, after over a year of non-stop hype, a new American Godzilla movie hit the big screens. Garbage. Garbage! In September 1998, a Saturday morning cartoon series would premiere called Godzilla the Series. It was a direct continuation of the movie, and also much, much better than the movie. Quite good, actually. The Godzilla in this series is the only surviving offspring of the big screen 98 Godzilla. The show aired on Fox Kids and lasted two seasons, with a total of 40 episodes, two of which did not air. The Trendmasters Company, who had previously flooded shelves with toys based on the 1998 movie, had prepared a toy line for this cartoon series as well. But these toys never made it to retailers. As a result, there isn't much in the way of merchandise for Godzilla the series. Enter Hardee's! In 2000, the fast food chain Hardee's offered toy premiums of Godzilla the series in their cool combos for kids meals. It took some doing, but I got my paws on all four toys. But before we take a look, let's do a quick playtime trivia question. In 2002, Burger King had a toy premium of this cartoon character dressed as Godzilla as part of their Creepy Classics line. Was it A, Bart Simpson, B, Invader Zim, C, SpongeBob SquarePants, or D, Donald Duck? The answer, a little later. If you're not familiar with Hardee's, it's likely because it's only located in one section of the United States. On the west coast of the US, you may be familiar with Carl's Jr. Both of these restaurants started as separate entities, but in 1997, Hardee's was purchased by Carl's Jr.'s parent company, and the two restaurants have since been combined into one unified brand. But enough Forbes talk, let's talk about toys. From the packaging, we can get a look at all four figures and their official names. Like, the Leaking Lizard Squirter? Why yes, who amongst us men has never had to leak the lizard using our squirter? Who could have guessed there'd be all these accidental penis jokes at Hardee's? Alright, heads up, I'm gonna have to devalue some rarities for this video to continue. And these guys are rare. This might be hard for some of you to watch, so while I do this, I'm just gonna cut to some footage of me petting my poodle Andy in the snow. Ta-da! Godzilla the series premiums, as they would appear the day you receive and open them. Let's deep dive these guys and see what they're about. Starting with this huge, slimy-looking egg case. And whatever's in there, I'm really glad that the egg has these air holes it can breathe through. A leaping lizard! It's a leaking lizard inside! This egg feels very extra. The baby Godzilla toy alone is good enough, but the egg is really cool, and it's very satisfying the way it fits together. And I, and I like that it's just clear enough that when I put the figure inside, you can tell he's in there without fully seeing him. All right, let's move on to the baby Godzilla, who is very purple. Maybe he's baby Barney instead. You're supposed to squeeze the toy to shoot water, but that is not easy. Everywhere I squeeze it, I feel like I'm forcing the toy to deform. I think I like the egg more than the squirt toy. This is the Lizard Launcher. You know, Hardys, this lizard has a name, and it's Godzilla? Junior? 
Zilla Jr.? Gino Jr.? You know what, Lizard is fun. This is a toy in which Godzilla is wrapped around a building and at the top of the building is a heat helicopter that can fly away. While there was a heat copter in the series, it did not look much like this helicopter. And I know what you're thinking, this premium looks familiar. That's because back when I reviewed the Taco Bell premiums for the Godzilla movie, there was a very similar toy. But when you put them side by side, you can see that the Hardy's toy started from scratch. In the Hardy's toy, this isn't the Chrysler building, it's just some generic building. It's a birthday cake stack of four cubes, that's all. I like how it happens to be that the parent Godzilla can wrap its arm fully around the side of the building, but Junior doesn't have quite as much reach. On the Hardy's toy, instead of a ripcord, you have a pull tab to make the helicopter lift off. Lift off! Go! Please? What is it with me and these helicopter toys? I can't fly them! Man, this pull string makes me nervous. I have no idea how secure it is inside, and I'm worried I'll pull the string right out. But at the same time, you need to give it a really good tug to get the copter to spin fast. I think the Taco Bell version of this is just better across the board. The sculpt, the paint job, the function. But this one isn't bad at all. I like it a lot, actually. Here is Hothead Godzilla. All right, they didn't call it something stupid like Light Up Lizard or something. This one's really simple. You push a button on his belly and this plastic inside his mouth lights up. Unfortunately, the battery appears to be dead and there's no way to replace it without destroying the whole figure. But I can confirm from another YouTube video that the light is red, which is interesting. You think they would have gone for the green. This figure's got a smidge of articulation in the arms. Mine's got some kind of rot or dirt or something here. I don't know what this is. Maybe it somehow came from the inside with a dying battery and just crumbed its way out. I don't know. The last item is the Heat Seeker Stamper, and this is actually my favorite one. It kind of looks like the ship in the series. I mean, it could have been a generic ship and they just slapped these stickers on to make it heat, but it's nice to have a version of the heat ship I can hold. And it gets better because this ship is also an ink stamp. Yeah, it's got some Godzilla footprints here and you could put some ink on it. Although this ink pad's not looking great. It's essentially looking a bit rough. This toy also comes with all of these small sheets of paper. There's not much going on with them. They're one-sided, Godzilla logo and stuff, but to my amazement, over 20 years later, the stamp still works. And I'm sure a drop of water would bring it even more back to life. Too bad about the circles around the footprints, though. That was always an issue with these kind of stamps. Yeah, it turns out these premiums are somewhat rare. I feel lucky I was able to get all four in one swoop to share with you guys. It's a shame that this is all there really is for Godzilla the series merch, but hey, we got to leak a lizard. You know what, stay with me, a little bonus item's coming up. Uh, going back to our trivia question, which was, in 2002, Burger King had a toy premium of this cartoon character, dressed as Godzilla, as part of their creepy classics line. The answer is A, Bart Simpson. The creepy classics line featured various Simpson characters dressed as famous movie monsters. They'd be next to a TV screen able to display two different images. Representing Godzilla here is Bart Simpson. And it's funny, we've seen Bart as Godzilla a couple of times, but here he's dressed like Godzilla. And the head is down. That's interesting. As with all the toys in this line, the Simpson figure is removable. I can't say I'm in love with this wide open mouth Bart's got with his tongue sticking out that looks terrified when you turn it to the side. And I really do wish that the Godzilla head was up. And then looking at the TV screens, these are neat. It was a nice touch that they made this TV screen look kind of like a city. Pulling the tab on top is what reveals the next picture. It's a neat little trick. And we get to see what Bart would look like if he put the hood up. He's playing Godzilla with his sister's Malibu Stacy dolls. And she's shouting, Mom, make Bart stop. Although with her eye contact, it looks like she's calling the doll mom. And then we also got King Homer. Now, King Homer is a known character because he actually appeared in the show. 
So I guess it makes sense that Homer is King Kong instead of dressed like King Kong. King Homer's got a big seam that's cutting him in half, and it's really unfortunate. Looks like a Death Star trench. Other than that, I like him. I like that they included the chains. He's holding Marge, that's a nice touch. Homer's also got a really creative scream. Very Art Deco! Did I use that right? King Homer is eating some kind of burger, but when you flip it, you'll see that it's actually a Krusty Burger billboard. Either that, or it's Aqua Team Hunger Force. By the way, I really like that everything is in color except for Homer. <laughs> that's her. I don't know why that's so funny to me. If this was normal human Homer, I would say that Homer and Bart actually scale really well together. So I'm glad that they made the adults bigger than the children. But if that were the case, then Bart's mom would be about the size of his nose, so... <laughs> but these are really neat. Uh, if you're a Simpsons fan, I hope you looked into this. And that's a wrap, we did it. We did Hardy slash Carl's Jr. and we got a little bit of Burger King in there. But we're still not done talking about all of the Godzilla fast food premiums that are out there. So keep an eye out for one more video like this in the future. Do you remember the Godzilla toys from Hardy's and Carl's Jr.? What about the Simpsons toys? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go donate another pint of blood to help pay for these toys. Later.